Hi there and thanks for watching. My name's Carl. I'll be your host for the duration of the video. And today I'm just going to ramble on for a few minutes about a photo shoot I did last weekend, which was actually very enjoyable. Uh, I was hired to shoot somebody's wedding and I had a really great day and I got some fantastic results, which I'm sure they're going to like. It was a long day. I set off from here at 8am, which isn't really early, but I got there around 10.30 and took some shots of the groomsmen getting ready and the preparations and some of the fine details. Then I went to the church and photographed the ceremony and then the reception line, sorry, receiving line, and then some group shots. And then we went to a park for three hours where we took photographs of the bridal party having fun and just joshing around and stuff. And that was nice. It was very, very hot. Uh, it was like 30 plus degrees and we were all wearing suits. Um, except for the bridesmaids who were wearing meringue type dresses. And I would feel sorry for them if it wasn't for the fact that they were obviously having such a great time. Anyway, uh, that was great. And then from there we went to the reception, which was at the Shriners. Uh, and that kind of ran through. I was supposed to stay through till. 9.30 when they cut the cake, but I ended up staying till 11 o'clock, uh, and headed off back to Port Colburn, bounce, and uh, finally got in at 2 a.m., so it was a long day, and I spent the rest of the weekend just uh, organizing the photos, putting them into uh, logical groups, like the ceremony, the, sort of the church, uh, the park, the reception, break them all up and organize them. And that was kind of good. I've got over 700 photographs to wade through, so that's going to take me a, a, a while. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be damn happy with the results. I know I am so far, uh, and I'm only going to tweak them and make them better. So, uh, what's not to like, right? But the really interesting thing was that it was a, quite a challenge. For any photographers out there, you know yourself, you set your camera in daylight and that's one thing, and then you do it night shots and that's another. I, I had quite a range of challenges because we went from uh, candid photos of the buttoners and things like that to a well-lit interior scene of a church um, which was straightforward, that's no problem. And then you went outside into very harsh sunlight. Um, it was uh, two o'clock wedding, it should have been one o'clock, the bride was late, bless her. And um, because the sun's coming blazing down on top of people's heads and we're standing under trees and we know what the dappled light is like in that. And it, it was a perfect world that I've had reflectors and dishes and things set up. And, um, but I was winging it. Uh, because of the um, the needs of the day, and that was fine because I nailed it. So yeah, I went from uh, an interior well lit shot inside the church, which was easy, to an exterior shot, which was extremely hard because the light was pounding down on our heads. Um, and then from there, I went to a park for three hours. Well, there's no shade in the park. Uh, we managed to find some trees, and we went to a splash pad, and we went to a pavilion and a bridge, and we, we basically walked around in red hot suits for three hours. And um, then went on to the reception area, which is a completely different thing. Uh, the reception was held in the Shriners, and that was uh, a windowless room with mood lighting. Needless to say, that's quite a challenge, so I was really glad that I'd taken my equipment with me and broke out an external flash, which lets me use the bounce lighting. Bounce lighting, if you don't know, um, your regular flash on a camera points in one way, straight forward. And that gives you a lot of red eye, and it gives you a lot of harsh lighting and shadows, and it just doesn't look particularly good. And it's great for certain things, um, and I actually used it in the park, because here's the thing. Using a flash during daylight, it might sound crazy, but it fills in the shadows. Uh, it's a very, very good technique for making what would be an otherwise difficult shot very easy. So if you're in harsh sunlight, beaming down, maybe behind you or off to one side, 
you'll find big bugs under your eyes, you'll find uh, you can't see people's eyes because they're kind of shadowed and veiled or in darkness. Now if you use your flash, that goes away. You may have to get rid of the red eye, but you've got a beautifully exposed face, which is uh, a really useful tip. You can try that. However, on the external flash I was using, called external, it sits in the hot shoe and you can bend it around, point it wherever you need to. And you might think, well, why is that useful? It's useful because if you're not pointing the flash straight in somebody's face, you don't get the red eye. And you can point it somewhere else. Best way to use it, in these circumstances at least, is what we call bounce flash, which is you point at a blank wall or a ceiling or a floor and the light hits and bounces back onto the subject so you're not getting any direct light but it does get rid of a lot of the shadows it brings out the detail beautifully so I brought one of those with me and it did the job perfectly it was a dark room which is really kind of hard to photograph particularly when the dance floor is full and they turn the lights off and the only thing you've got is strobes which is yeah so um, quite the challenge technically to get all those environments and make them work and I think I got it pretty damn right and I'm hoping that the, uh, the, the happy couple will think so too I want to get their photos finished this weekend and get them in the uh, mail and then they've got the opportunity to send them out to other people who will say oh that's fantastic who did you use well the main thing is I want them to be happy with the photographs and I want them to have a good memory of the day, a good archive of, of, of the things that happened. We got some really good moments and uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be happy with them. Which was my objective and um, I think I, I, I got it right. So looking forward to getting those handed off. And um, that's going to take me another couple of days because there's just so many of them. But um, it should be done by this weekend and then I can look at getting back to a more regular schedule. It's all good. Anyway, I've rambled enough. That was longer than I planned it to be. So, uh, thanks for watching. My name's Wink Carl. You know the routine. What is going on with my hair? I don't know. Anyway, thoughts from a car today were simply about photography and weddings and meeting some really great people, actually. Um, my nephew Nick was the best man at this wedding, and apparently I'm Uncle Carl to a dozen people now, so they seem to enjoy my company and laughed at most of my jokes, which shows how weird they are, um, but it was good, it went really well, I had a great time, and I look forward to seeing them all again in August when I go back for Rebecca's wedding, so it should be good. Anyway. I'm off. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.